I'm Cindy Plank, director of the Washington Centerville Public Library. Libraries change lives and endowments help them do it. That's the message I'd like to share today. Libraries change lives and endowments help them do it. Libraries tell us what is true, protect our First Amendment freedoms, teach our children, enrich our time. Libraries represent inclusivity, inquiry, exploration, and lifelong learning. Libraries are about possibilities on the grandest scale imaginable. Washington Centerville Public Library has made many possibilities become reality for the community with the help of endowments. I'd like to tell you today about some of these. The library has been called a million story building and this story begins with a woman named Dorothy Yeck. A lifelong lover of the arts, Dottie loved the library, she loved children, and she loved possibilities. Dottie and her husband Bill set up the Woodburn Library Arts Endowment which has in turn created many rich experiences for our entire community. Dottie's endowment made it possible for 150 children to attend a three-day workshop with the talented author and illustrator of children's books, Peter Catalanato. Peter worked with three groups each day, with 50 children in a group. They learned how to tap their own sources of creativity, explored what makes a good story, learned to organize their thoughts and ideas, and then began to storyboard and illustrate their own books. At the end of the workshop, the children graduated. Peter shook the hands of every one and gave each a copy of a poster of his original artwork and encouraged their futures. I saw those 150 children work with this talented man, and I am absolutely certain that each of them will always remember that summer experience. Being fully in touch with their own creativity will never leave them. Dottie's endowment lives on. Each year, an extra special event or performance gives people an opportunity to experience the arts. Performing arts groups, visual artists, and even landscape designers have been the instruments for this endowment. The arts endowment is also lasting. Many of the projects include the purchase of a work of art for the Woodburn Library. These works of art have included Peter Catalanato's painting of a little girl reading one of his books, which hangs in the children's area. Bing Davis, nationally known artist, gave a creativity workshop for all ages, and now his original artwork hangs in the Woodburn Library. The exquisite shrubbery garden, created in Dottie's memory, gives pleasure in every season to hundreds of visitors to the library each month. Thanks to the endowment that permitted the library to engage a talented landscape designer to create something totally unique and lasting for our community. Iconographic sign banners were created in 2007, compliments of the endowment, and these examples of great design now help people locate their books in the nonfiction collection. The artist who created these pictograms did a popular workshop with children which invited them to pick toe it. Imagine how excited the children were to see their very own pictograms printed on shirts and exhibited in the library. As you can tell, Bill and Dottie Yeck enriched many lives through the Woodburn Library Arts Endowment, enabling the library to help realize the Yeck's own vision to make the arts part of the life of the community and the Woodburn Library forever. In 2008, the Woodburn Library Arts Endowment funded an artist-in-residence, Jeffrey James. He created a work using motifs from 12 centuries ago and talked with people about the library's upcoming exhibit on the amazing arts of the Book of Kells. The two-year Book of Kells project included two exhibits and a number of programs about art meeting history. The Washington Centerville Library Fund, a general endowment made up of unspecified gifts, made the Kells Project possible. Almost 11,000 people participated and enjoyed that program during the first year alone. The rare and valuable facsimile edition of the Book of Kells is itself another example of a gift to the library. This is often considered the most beautiful book in the world 
and it is certainly one of the most famous. Gifts, then, come in the form of books, financial gifts, or even stocks and bonds. One of the most exciting aspects of an endowment is that the owner is often able to appreciate the results and may even choose to participate. Bill and Dottie enjoyed meeting a number of the artists who presented in the Arts Endowment. Now, a new Yak Endowment gives another generation of the Yak family a chance to become involved. The Dottie Yak Good Life Award was developed by Dottie's family, husband Bill, and sons Bob and Dave. The program invites those in grades 7 to 9 to write on the theme of Dottie's life. Being good plus doing good equals having fun and being happy. Professional judges award one prize and a number of honorable mentions each year, and those have changed the lives of the recipients. Michael Spaeth, 2007 Award of Distinction winner, said, Writing this essay made me think really hard about how to live a good life, a topic I had never really thought about before. Even if I hadn't won anything, I still feel that I put together a good understanding for myself about how to live a truly good life. Good Life Award and Libraries have found a champion in New York Jets football player, Nick Mangold, who promotes for us with a film commercial and a good read poster. Many endowments promise a lasting legacy, but as you've seen, endowments such as the Woodburn Library Arts Endowment can result in a new and creative opportunity for years to come, bringing credit to your own family generations from now. Here, Bob Yak talks with one of the winners of the Good Life Award writing competition. Creating an endowment is like making a terrific investment. One chooses a vehicle which puts money to work, chooses a company or organization whose values one supports, and the investment dividends go to the entire community. You, the donor, have the opportunity to participate in changing lives, enriching the community, and seeing your investment perform in whatever area of interest you may have. We're defined by what we love and an endowment makes that love visible to all, enriching thousands of lives in ways we cannot even imagine. What could be more powerful or more lasting?